the end of your species will come. Okay. Don't want to tell you how many times I've tried this, but saving the art projector for any pyros or rogue engineers who are going to try and mess things up for us. Hitting them with the art projector would probably be good. Okay. Since it's the last mission of the game, I, I'm not going to spare the heavy ammo. I'm going to spare it a little because I know what's coming up next. Best gaming, perhaps. Heavy mech, as you said. It's coming soon, but not quite yet. Ideally, we'd be able to get rid of this engineer, but she seems insistent on staying in one place. Yeah. Engineer's going to be one I'm going to kill to trigger the heavy mech wave. Because she is going to be really annoying otherwise. If you just stay out of cover for a little while longer. Uh, trouble is this guard is popping up in the way. Okay. Another read. For some reason, they do not try and flank this position so much. Pyros do, but nothing, nothing else does. Heavy fire. Those have been the main cause of my deaths. You know, as soon as you've got health and you're hit by a pyro, the game should just kill you automatically because there's no way you recover from the stagger in time. So the engineer is doing badly on health. I'm going to soften up each of these guys as well because. Um, Um, you know, it's decided, what happens next is decided by how many are still alive. And they'll stick around regardless of what happens. So what I want to do is get them all down to low health so that I can kill them quickly when the next wave comes. Oops. You see the artifact is powering up. Okay. Haha. <laughs> okay. So we can start killing these guys off now. I'll review. Okay, gonna use all the art projects around on this mine here. Kill the guards along with it. Hopefully. There's a couple of guards back there. Okay, want to charge this one. Charge this guy. Okay, get ready. Oh, missed. Excellent. Have faith in the artifact. It'll be over soon. You 
shall be the first to witness our arrival. And that's the bonus you get. You get killed by the artifact instead of the guys there. You don't look quite right. Take her to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. Oh, good. They always want me alive. Thankful, really, since we're completely vulnerable there. Ah, that's satisfying to get that done. Thank you, Arc Projector. Just the enemies bunch up too much to effectively charge a lot of the time, especially with the pyros about. But it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! If only it were that easy in game. Okay, so we've got scientists here. Hello. Yeah. Let's not walk into the force fields. Step away from the terminal. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Hmm. Assuming direct control of this mech. I need to have infinite health this thing. Oh, no it doesn't. Let's get another mech. I think we've got a few. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's try again. How many of these will we get through? Okay. So let's continue. Yes, we have to play the rest of the game like this, in case you're wondering. Thankfully not. Um, damn, is it slow. The rock makes sacrifice. Okay, heavy weapon. Object has served us well, but uh <laughs> that horrible thing. Why not we just take the avalanche? Just for a bit of fun if we need to use it. No, Last opportunity to. Have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Yeah, we've been asleep for a while. That time it can expire, by the way. We've not in too pretty results. I'm not waiting around to find out, or because you can easily look it up anyway. Get all these adjusted. That was the annoying thing about the previous battle was that it saved before the cutscenes, so you have to speak, sit through admittedly only 30 minutes of stuff. Uh, 30 minutes? 30 seconds of stuff. But still, if you get killed, it's very frustrating because then you have to sit through that cutscene and then reload and sit through the previous cutscene. So there's a minute of downtime with each attempt. Okay, so we got relatively straight corridor. Okay, this guy's advancing. As we're, you know, just this is a rather easy battle. Why not we just take out our phalanx for a bit of fun? Okay, send is loaded. Ah, 
Oh, we can save. Quite a nice view out here, really. It's got its own atmosphere, this asteroid. Okay. We've got flankers on our left, but... As we all know, you can't outflank a vanguard. Guys, show yourselves. Wouldn't like to be these guys. I mean, they're indoctrinated and everything, but still, going against, you know, what's meant to be an alliance hero. Yeah, I think a bit too long range to use that effectively. Probably Viper. Once they come out again. If they could stick in the open, that'd be great. We can force them to stick in the open, of course. Like that. I love this rifle. Huh. <laughs> Bounced off into the corner there. All oh, right. We got here mech parts. In here, no. See what's past here. Did you say something about flamethrowers? That can't be good. Yes, he's using flamethrowers, this guy. Okay, well, we'll have to work his flam in. Okay, um... Long range these things, so. This is where this thing comes in handy. Okay, he's dead. Soon. Once he. Gets out of that. <laughs> As I've said before, this thing has an insane duration on it. And so I love to use it. Okay, how about Tempest? Okay. Let's see what's going on here. They're all bunched up again. What also sucks is when I charge the guys on the rails behind them and end up warping down here instead. Which leaves me very exposed. You charge them thinking you're going to get their covering, then you don't. <laughs> that happened to me a few times on the object row fight. Let it go. Oh, it's right back there. Okay. Guess one of you guys left. I would have charged with the flamin worth I haven't been around to distract and allow you guys to actually get into a 
phalanx formation of sorts. That's something I don't find very realistic is when enemies bunch up. Because that's one thing you don't do in modern warfare is <laughs> bunch all together. Makes you a rather large target. You want to uh, put a moderate amount of distance between you and the next guy because you know, maximize firepower but minimize exposure to enemy grenades, mortar shells the like. They've seen us. Okay, no flamin' worthers. Burn Shepherd! About a corner reacher there. Let's see if we can't uh, review. Again. Stop, stop and roll. Are they all in one big clump? Well, they're in one tiny clump, two guys. Ah. Got a few guys here. Project Elite. Right, what are you two going to do? Okay. Switch to Tempest here. <laughs> 